Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, thank you for inviting me, uh, Gordon. Uh, we are now here in, I'm going through the process of translation and localization of spectrum uh, uh, through the years. Uh, we call this project here in Portugal Spectrum PT. Uh, the project now is um, it, it, it's still undergoing uh, with the help of the uh, University of Coimbra Science Museum, but we are also having some help from our friends at the the Portuguese um, Association of Librarians and Archivists. So they are, um, we are uh, working with them and also with uh, our friends from Brazil, from the, some, from some museums in Brazil. Now, not uh, uh, at this stage, not uh, exactly with the same museums and the same uh, colleagues that we work uh, uh, for the translation of Spectrum 4. But I will talk to about that later on, later on. So we started uh, uh, working with Spectrum a few years ago because we don't have a national standard here in Portugal for collection management. Uh, we don't have any other uh, international standard translated to our language. And Portuguese and Brazilian museums have a lot of difficulties uh, and uh, to work with their collections and to document and manage their 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 collections. So we have uh, these um, these needs that we need to uh, address a few years ago. Now they are changing a little bit because we have uh, spectrum and we are uh, using it in many museums here in Portugal and Brazil as well. And we uh, we started to look on that. Uh, on spectrum because it is an international recognized standard. Uh, it's informally informally used by many Portuguese museums, although they don't um, recognize that they use they use it on specific issues and on specific uh, procedures. Um, uh, it has an international community and it works for for some of the museums that used it before. We started uh, also this uh, translation for Portuguese uh, because we have uh, because we have a lot of museums around the world, not only Portugal and Brazil, but also uh, Cabo Verde, Angola, Mozambique, uh, Santo Mé, Prince, the, the Guinea, East Timor, a lot of uh, countries and a lot of museums and territories that speak Portuguese. And we wanted as well that they uh, started to participate. And now we are, uh, uh, we will have some uh, volunteers uh, for, uh, from Cabo Verde as well. Uh, and at this stage that we are now. So we partnership uh, with Collections Trust a few years ago. For and uh, with some uh, Portuguese professional association, we have the help from many other spectrum communities, like um, uh, for like the uh, the, uh, the UK one. The, we have talked uh, also with Monica and and the, the German community of spectrum. And other ICOM members that work with Spectrum uh, to see how we can manage to um, uh, translate Spectrum and use Spectrum in our museums here in Portugal. So we came up. We only get this started uh, when Spectrum 4 was uh, already published by Collections Press, and now we and we finished and we have the Spectrum 4. Translated, it's the only version that is translated to Portuguese. We'll talk about Spectrum 5 in a minute. We have a lot of language issues on this, um, on Spectrum 4, and Collections First help us, helped us a lot with, with that. Uh, it is available, uh, a version, uh, a Brazilian Portuguese version, um, 
online at that uh, website, uh, but it uses the new Portuguese orthography agreement that was fixed by Brazil and Portugal and Angola and other countries a few years ago, and uh, it helped us in that matter. Uh, the translation uh, process was, uh, was, we need to define this for, for the second phase of this project, but we started to use this, um, uh, a, a first draft translation that started to be reviewed by other uh, colleagues. And we review not only the, the, the procedures but also the, the information requirement. We have a final technical revision of Spectrum 4, and we'll do this the, more or less the, the same process for the next uh, version of, of, of Spectrum, the Spectrum 5. So the, the first version, Spectrum 4, was available on 2014. We started to to, to with a workshop uh, then in, in in Sao Paulo we are having some spectrum PT and in, uh, in this uh, in this uh, project we are uh, having some I, I forgot to put this information here but we are having some uh, workshops here in Portugal as well at Porto University that is working with us as well at this moment. Uh, and we build up uh, a, a parallel project to translate uh, and uh, adapt the spectrum advice for the eight primary procedures of the uh, Spectrum 4 version. And we have here some adaptation regarding legal, language and professional uh, related issues. This was this part of the of the translation was made by by some colleagues uh, of the, um, uh, the the association. Is, association is called BAD, the B A D, by librarians, uh, archivists, and documentalists in Portuguese. It's uh, it's uh, uh, it's the name that we call that uh, association. And um, it's available on, on this website, as I told you before. And we are now uh, working on the Spectrum 5 uh, starting uh, of this project. We have started this already discussing with uh, Gordon and Kevin uh, from Collection Stress. And we, are now, we have now stepped up uh, the, the, the application to start translating. And we are making right now um, uh, a, a first draft translation, and then we are looking in, in, into it and dividing some specific um, procedures with our colleagues to to review all the that uh, first draft and later on to have a final. Uh, uh, draft version of the, the spectrum to be discussed, I guess. In a, if, yeah, we want to in a physical meeting during to uh, 20, 2021 next year, and uh, it try and we will try to have this uh, done on the next the next CDOC conference uh, next year. So one year from now, uh, or more or less one year from now. So thank you, Gordon. <laughs>